Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Oblivion with Jingles, me, and Indris here. It is currently 10 past 7 a.m. Uh, we spent the night here, celebrated our new job with uh, a bottle of wine that we found downstairs earlier in a sweet roll. I mixed up a few potions and a few additional restore health potions. Um, I have considered going back to the Imperial City to get some more supplies because it just wasn't expecting to be sent out on a dangerous job like this quite so soon. So we're a little under equipped, frankly. We have one, six, uh, ten restore magic potions. We have only. I think only about four Welkin stones, but I'm gonna risk it and see how we get on. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't think it's necessary to go back to the Imperial City just yet. We should be okay. I just need to remember to wear this, which will give me extra magicka, so we'll pop that on now, I think. Um, and let's go, let's go. Mogus is still here. Hello. So let's, uh, let's get going. We need to go, apparently. We need to go all the way down here to Newfound Spire and deep, deep, deep in the heart of the West Wheel, which is somewhere we have not not previously explored, so it should be interesting at least. I mean, I've never really been there much myself, I have to admit anyway, but dear me, messy people. Uh, uh, j j j physics, behave, thank you. Um, I've never really been there myself anyway, but I've certainly never been there with unique landscapes installed, so I'm curious to see what awaits us out in the West Weald. Thankfully it's not too far, especially if we hop on our horse, it shouldn't take us too long to get there at all. So... I have also, by the way, I have uh, discovered that I can extract the audio without too much trouble actually. I mean I initially I tried doing it with Audacity which took forever but where did I... Elba? Where... Elba? Where, where have you... where have you gone? I told you not to wander off! Just... Bloody horse! Oh. He's completely... He's, no, he hasn't scarfed, right? He's just hanging around over here. Cheeky bastard, right? I bet I looked at him earlier and everyone was like, What are you doing? He's right there! Sorry. I'm no less unobservant, I'm afraid. Anyway, so as I was saying, I discovered a way to extract the audio from these recordings, because DxTory records audio in separate streams, you see. It records one stream, which is just the game's audio, one stream, which is my microphone audio, which means that when I'm editing... Uh, sleep them alone. Um, when I'm editing, right, hang on a minute, we're kind of going in the opposite direction to where we're meant to be going, aren't we? So, anyway, when I'm editing, I can actually independently adjust the volume of my microphone next to the game's audio, so I don't have to constantly faff around in this menu here like I always used to, so, when I was using Fraps. Um, I like the story a lot, it's good. Now I've got some decent codecs to run with it and stuff like that. Um, these, yeah, I'm going to have to go around this bit here unless I want to ride straight through a river. So uh, It's it's no by no means a good tool to be using when you're just starting out. So if anyone's watching this as a beginner looking for tips and stuff, then, you know, don't... Uh, I wouldn't start with DxTory if I were you. I'm only using DxTory because I'm quite experienced with the whole recording business. But... Uh, yeah, it's it's good. I like it. And basically now I can extract the audio from the video as opposed to it all being tied together. It, it, this actually means I can run the microphone audio through Audacity. And that means that I can actually do a noise removal of it and basically get rid of the annoying fan noises that were plaguing us in the last video. And pretty much every video I've ever done actually now I think about it, which is pretty great, honestly. Uh, because that's always, always, always annoyed me. So, yeah, like, noise from the traffic outside will be reduced. The fan noises should be gone completely, in theory. I'm not hearing battle music, so... 
I'm assuming those imps aren't hostile to us just yet, so let's not aggro them, let's just get going. I still don't know if I'm going the right direction. <laughs> Vaguely. Lots lots of foggy forest, I'm afraid. It's very disorientating. So that's pretty excellent. I'm really pleased about that. I've not actually tried it yet, mind you. Um, it, it remains to be seen precisely just how much noise removal I can actually do. In theory, it should allow me to almost completely remove the noise from my computer's fans. Um, but at the least, it'll be able, I'll be able to reduce it so much that it probably won't be noticeable. So there is that. So I'm quite pleased about that. I, I am indeed quite pleased about that because previously it's something I just couldn't do. Tamika Redwort. Can I? Oh, I can pick that up while on my horse. That's kind of neat. I never noticed that before. Well, I could if it let me. Yeah, it's a bit awkward, isn't it? Anyway. I should really start paying attention to more of these uh, plants I've previously ignored now that I can... Oh, didn't mean to do that. Now that I can actually unlock all four... Uh, you know... Is that a boar? I think it's a boar. Let's leave it alone. That's another boar. Let's leave that one alone as well. Oh, dear. Ugh, come on, then. Death. To wow, these are tough. Jeez. It's a dire boar, apparently. Now, his... That was a bit weird. Uh, okay, just, you know, just hold on there a second, matey. Yeah, apparently I can't power attack for some reason. When I hold down the mouse, he just kind of holds his sword like that. And nothing happens. That's very irritating. I'm just saying. If anyone knows how I, how I can fix that, I'd love to know. Can I just maybe reload and fix it that way? A quick save and quick load, perhaps? No. Oh dear. Well, if anyone knows what the deal with that is, then please tell me. Please. I've had this once or twice before in the past, I think. I just never in this Let's Play. Um, anyway. Oh! Lovely. Level up. And my restoration increased. So yeah, dire boars, really? I should probably loot them at least. Columbine. If I find out where the blasted things have gone. So yeah, dire boars. Now you may think that that's such a nonsense, a dire boar or a dire wolf, but you know, funnily enough, those things really did exist. Um, oh, diseased meat, really? No, 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 no. Go away. Go away. Wait, is it actually useful? No, it's not. Well, I could make a poison with it, but... Anyway. Apparently it was a diseased dire boar, but anyway. Um, yeah, dire creatures were a thing. Like, uh, basically a dire wolf or a dire boar is like kind of a prehistoric species of boar or wolf, which really did exist, I think, in North America. Um, and they were bloody massive. Uh, so, yeah. Nothing much other, other, else special about them, mind you. I mean, so don't get any ideas of, like, Dungeons and Dragons direwolves, which have all those kind of glowing red eyes and bony protrusions all over them and stuff like that. No, an actual direwolf is basically just a very big species of wolf which is now extinct. And that is a giant. Speaking of things that are extinct. Oh, we're going the wrong way. Oh, you know what? I was really enjoying that Dragon Pass music then. And that's the wrong spell. Wait, I have hotkeys, I've just forgotten what they are. So bear with me. <laughs> um, well, that I could probably use. Um, die! Why? Oh, good grief, you're tough, aren't you? Okay, now I can power attack at least. Ouch. Oh, I wish I'd brought one of my staffs with me. Um, I need to take traps. No, somehow I don't think that's useful right now. Mm. So, ooh. 
I don't have enough magic for Siphon Pain, but it seems like an ideal opportunity to use it. Um, where's my... There we go. I don't have time for this, you know? I just don't. Where is it? There we go. Now then. Mate. I am invincible. Oh, really? Two of you? It's a good thing I did cast Siphon Pain, isn't it? It's only going to last for another 10 seconds, though. This is slightly ridiculous. At least the horse isn't joining in. And again, please. Okay, this is getting a wee bit ridiculous. Um... What's that other effect on me just now? Where, where is it? Fortify uh, Magicka. Yeah. Oh, it's really aided well. Am I absorbing the magic from this Siphon Pain thing, by the way? Because I'm not losing any magic from casting that, by the looks of things. Which is curious. Oh my god, you have so much health! Um. No, that's not what I meant to do at all. Uh, where? There we go. Right. Yeah. Play with those fellas. No. Play with the skeletons. Not me. Oops. Yeah. Yeah. You have. You have fun with them. My minions. Stop ignoring them, you bastard! Right. Yes. Use another welcome stone. This is ridiculous. This is precisely what I would hope wouldn't happen on my way to Ugh. the spire. Two giants, really. No wonder I've never explored around here before. Quick strikes, come on. In and out. Oh, God. <sighs> Screw you, giant. Screw you. It's a good thing I quick saved, isn't it? <laughs> oh, fine. You know what? I'm just going to ignore those guys completely. Um, although I'm half tempted to go back there and kick their asses just for being so irritating, but no. Oh, there we go. Got the level up again at least. Oh, oh, that was annoying. Right, where's my horse? Elba? I really need some sort of horse mod, don't I? Let's be summon my horse. Right. This way. Ish. Yeah, more like that. Good god. Oh, there's a stream. Easier to cross here than down there, so. I'm pretty pleased about that, by the way, though. The fact that Elbert seems to have the good sense not to get involved in my fights, because I could do without a dead horse, honestly. Uh, yeah, this way. I could also do without this fog, to be quite frank. Uh, what? I'm getting weird noises. Hang on a second. Well, I don't know what on earth was causing that. I have no bloody clue, like, at all. Very odd. Uh, it's just steady now, game. Steady. I know I just don't tab back in. I, mean, I know you're not totally okay with that, but just steady on, alright? I'd love to know if there's a mod which allows me to play in a borderless full screen window. That'd be so much more useful. Anyway. Hello. Alien stuff. Can't resist, I'm afraid. Of course, because I have compass disabled installed, I don't know if this is actually a ruin or if it's just random stuff, which is brilliant. I hate the compass. I really do. Like, I love quest markers. Hello. Yeah, I, hate, I love quest markers. Great addition, frankly. I know everyone, everyone knows my opinion on quest markers. Anyway, I'm in the minority. I know I'm aware that I am in the minority in that I like quest markers. However, the compass, not so much. I think it's kind of. 
you again, really. Right, I'm ready for you this time. Good grief, you guys are so tough. Idris, you're so out of practice, mate. You really need to get shit into gear. You didn't have problems with giants before. Did we even encounter any giants before? I don't know, actually. I think I might have encountered one, but I don't think it recorded or something. Okay, what have we got? Boar meat. A giant heart. Blimey, me, it's quite heavy. Some gems, some gold, a few bits of rawhide, yeah, whatever. Every little helps. Adding it to the the total pool of cash we have at our disposal. Which at the minute stands at 1446 plus the 22 grand in the bank. No idea how I accumulated 22 grand, if I'm honest. I know the 2 grand is from interest. Because the, 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 the bank of Cyrodiil mod is fantastic. It literally does account for compound interest. It's brilliant. But as for the other 20 grand, I don't know. Honestly. Necromancers. I've had dealings with you in the past. Yeah, Idris' uh, opinion on necromancers has hardened a little bit in between playlists. Ever since he... Well... He was sent at one point to go meet the Count of Skingrad and he was... Oh, just leave me alone. Anyway, he was sent to go visit the Count of Skingrad by the Mage's Guild, and he was kind of almost assassinated by a bunch of necromancers, so there is that. Um, what am I looking for? Yeah, this. Uh, where's my shield spell? All right, it's hotkey to sticks. Okay, I just need to try and remember this crap. Um, oh, and a necromancer, just thrown into the mix there. Oh, two of them, lovely. Ugh. Right, I love that shock spell. I really do. Eats up the magicka like nobody's business, but so useful. Speaking of. <laughs> Thank you very much. More gems. Won't say no to any of that. This bone stuff, I'm pretty sure that's I'm still pretty sure that's part of some sort of crafting plugin for Oscuro's Oblivion Overhaul or possibly Mart's Monster Mod, however. Um I'm kind of ignoring it. I don't think I actually have the plugin totally enabled. I mean the items still show up, but I don't think I have it enabled. I've tried using it in the past, like a long time ago, and it crashed my game, so that's why I'm kind of ignoring it. Plus, it just doesn't really strike me as the type to craft things out of bones anyway, so. Why did I get off my horse then? I can heal myself on the horse. It's daft. It's incredibly daft. Oh. Damn, I shouldn't have taken that one. I should have taken one of the ones without a shield, but never mind. Um. Are we there yet? Nearly. I'm going to drop a little quick save for that scuffle. People are probably yelling at me to quick save, so... Oh, God. Steep hills. Steep hills and oblivion are not... Really. Okay. One. Do not enjoy this lag. Two. Pack of trolls. What the hell is with this? Hang on a second. Okay, I just exited the game and reloaded again. And everything seems to be okay now, actually. So I don't know what that was about. It's almost like there was an incredible memory leak or something. But, hello. Well, he's in the way, so I kind of need to get rid of him anyway. For anyone thinking, why didn't I just avoid that? Um, yeah, so I've I, no idea what that was about. The game just went berserk for some reason. Now where did you go? There you are. Primal Troll. Uh, that's actually not useful at all, is it? No. <laughs> I'm sure there was more than one when I loaded it earlier. When I was yeah, when I was before I loaded, but never mind. Not going to complain, am I? <sighs> I need to restore my magic again. Oh. Yeah, use that. And one of those. 
And just to remind everybody, by the way, in case anyone's about to type this into the comments as I speak, yes, restore health, magic, and stamina potions do indeed stack the timed ones. It's the other stuff like shield potions that don't stack, but these ones do. Tested it out myself earlier. Ah, hello. This looks like what we're, we're looking for. Yes. Idris's suspicions are confirmed. He has seen one of these before. Alright then, well. Blimey. There's someone up there as well. Uh, hello. Can I help you with something? Oh, hello, guildmate. You're welcome to explore this site as much as you wish. Hey, how do you know I'm a guildmate? I, just, I assume the game is assuming that I'll be wearing these... These, these robes they gave us, but never mind. Whatever. Um, I suppose he just, just introduced himself as a guildmate as well, so there we go. Anyway, um, right, we could, apparently we can ask her about other people in the guild. It's kind of not really important right now, but I'm going to do it anyway in case I don't get a chance later on. Uh, so let's ask about Domitian Varus. I knew Varus from our studies at the Imperial City. He was always a little... How would you say? Unconventional? To this day, he holds a record for climbing the highest up White Gold Tower, completely unaided. What? He came down pretty quickly after that, but he insisted all along that he was doing it in the interest of Iliad research. Of course, no one believed him. I mean, you could smell the Tamika wine if you so much as stood downwind of him. Personally, I always had time for him. I looked up to him, like you would with a sweet but misguided uncle. His theories were brilliantly unconventional, and the Iliads were like that too. Always defying expectations. But sure enough, soon afterwards, he submitted a paper on the religious significance of Iliad towers that stunned even the council. Try not to be too hard on him, hmm? Okay. Uh, what about T then? Of all the members, T is my favorite, so it was wonderful being chosen as his assistant for my first assignment. Even amongst Argonians, his swimming ability was considerable. He told me it was this, rather than any studies, that led to his appointment here. There's a lake near Black Rose in the Black Marsh where he comes from that he used to swim in. The basin is encrusted with jewels beneath thin layers of silt after a land cascade. The waters look dark as midnight from the surface, but once you submerge yourself and dive down into the depths, you'll find, in Teve's own words, stars that glitter from the deep like some dark heaven. He's often used that story to tell me to keep my mind focused on what's important and not to rely entirely upon my studies. To everyone's surprise, Teve has always been on good terms with Tumir, the Khajiit, Although he does keep telling him that of all the gems he collects, he likes the cat's eyes the most. <laughs> hmm. Okay. He seems like a, 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 a surprisingly practical fellow, this Teve guy. I think, despite the first impressions, Idris would probably quite like him. Um, so, can, yeah, we, these are meant to be steps, aren't they? It is not so bad a day, yes? Have you ever seen anything like this? These glyphs are amazing, but what do they mean? Um, apparently we can ask about Norlene if we want to, might as well, I suppose. Who? Norlene? Isn't she one of the nicest Dunmers you'll ever find? Although I realize it's not saying much. Of course, I could have been enchanted. Ah, that's happened a few times. I am the longest serving assistant here, and I remember that when she joined, the uh, Dark Brotherhood had a contract out on her. When Wright got wind of this, he and T went out on vigils to catch the agents at work and seek a parley. Somehow, and against the Brotherhood's traditions, Wright succeeded in reversing the contract and turning it against their client a rival Dunbar family with whom they'd held a long-standing feud. Once this was done, she became very... Uh, grateful to us. And I do not think there is anything she does not know about mythology, 
from here to High Rock. I see. May you hear the music of Zenithar on your travels. Mm-hmm. More slightly questionable voice acting there, but whatever. We learn some more info about the main guild members. Right, so... Let's just recap exactly what it was Teeb wanted us to do. Right. Clear a path for Teeb's excavation efforts. Right. So, one would assume we need to go down here. What? Is there anyone else around here? Like, I mean... I thought... The bloke in charge was down here somewhere. Maybe he's inside. Yeah, maybe he is. I don't, know. I don't see anyone else out there. So, newfound spire ruin. Uh, it just looks very familiar, even if it was a long time ago. Better not whip out the warlock torch, they might start asking questions. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Is that important somehow? I don't know. Probably not. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be anyone around, really. Curious. Oh, hello. A warlock chest, except it's already been emptied. Yeah, more of these things. Oh, hello. A big hole in the ground, which we'll probably end up having to go down at some point. Now, he did mention a lower chamber or something, didn't he? Why is there nobody here? I thought Cal Rifer and the paleontologist fellow were meant to be here. Somewhere. But I guess they're not. Whatever. Uh, I did not see them anywhere out there, so I'm just going to assume that they're elsewhere. Now then, I assume we're going to have to go down that hole, which seems ridiculously risky. Considering there doesn't seem to be any way up. But this seems to be the only way forward, so... I mean, I could probably get out if I really needed to with a jump spell. I do have a pretty good one, actually. I picked it up a while ago. Where is it? Major fortified jump. Yeah, it's pretty exceptional. I used it to run around the rooftops of the market district, actually. Um... <laughs> it just was drunk, needless to say, at the time. And, uh, yeah, well, yeah, this should be okay, I think. Yeah, in fact, I think you're meant to be able to just jump out of here if needs be, right? Kind of makes sense, and what's a little bit awkward. Never mind, that's what jump spells are for. Anyway, now a little bit wary, honestly. Although, this doesn't... These caves don't look all crystally fied so... Curiouser and curiouser. The one thing I do like about... right, If we're going by what, what I've experienced with the previous spy room we did go in a while ago. A gore rat. Ugh. What I do like about this mod is that the dungeons in it appear to be very, very non-linear in their design, which is excellent. Uh, so... I'm expecting to get lost plenty of times. So I explore down here. I hope it's not too dark, by the way, guys. I can obviously brighten this in DX Tori quite a bit, so I don't think it should be too much of an issue, but... Hey. Ogres. You know, I think this is the first ogre we've ever encountered. Now I think about it. Oh, God. Okay, that was very poorly timed. Oh, hell no. Ah, dear. Mm. Out of practice, apparently, does not even begin to describe Idris's combat abilities right now. Right, let's do this again, shall we? That's the other thing I love about DX Tori, though. I can brighten this up. 
quite easily afterwards in the editing process, like, uh, just because of the way it's recorded and stuff. That, in addition to Sony Vegas, it's a, it's a pretty, pretty excellent... Oh, well, no, we didn't go this way last time. It's down here, then. What? Wait, 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 what? Oh. It's a bloodthirsty tip. Whoa, okay, right. Can give it as much credit as it deserved, apparently. What are you doing up there? Get down. Have that. And that, thank you. And these, these, these are good for health potions. But yeah, anyway, so I like that's why I like about DX Surrey and, and Sony Vegas is because I can actually brighten things up afterwards like that. I pretty much don't have to worry about anything on the game's end these days just because of the way it's edited together. It's it's pretty good. What the hell happened here? I'm curious. Um. Yeah, I don't have to worry about the game's brightness, I don't have to worry about the game's volume, because it all gets sorted out in editing, which admittedly probably requires more work than just using fraps does. But. Ooh, you yes, creepy Daggerfall dungeon music. I approve. You know what? You weren't hostile, but I don't like spiders, so. I do like spider silk, though. It's valuable. Maybe I should, you know, go into poisons a bit now I think about it. Like, I could probably make some pretty powerful ones too, and clearly I'm having a bit of bother in melee combat right now. Really. So, you know what, actually, I don't think this sword has any charge, does it? Which might be accounting for, yeah, <laughs> might be accounting for some of the lack of success I'm having at the minute. Um, how can I do this? deal with that. I didn't bring any Vala Stones with me. Didn't bring any... Um, I didn't bring any Soul Gems with me either, so I guess I'm going to have to resort to this recharge spell. Unfortunately. Uh, it's, 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 I don't like using it, honestly, because it, it, d it does quite a bit of health damage. But Ogres do more health damage, frankly, so... Where is it? Probably right here on the screen, and you're all screaming at me like, It's right there! You've just moused over it! It's right there! What's wrong with you? Sorry, I can't see it. Um, let's try on self. Slim this down a bit. Oh, rapid fire, I forgot about that. Bound... no. I could use a bound torch right about now, then, mind you, but still. Um, Minor recharged. There we go. Eesh. There we go. Right. Okay. Now, that's not too bad. That's just lowered my health a little bit now, but I found out after experimenting a while ago that if you cast that twice to just try and recharge more than one weapon, um, you will actually start suffering constant health damage because you're taking too much soul damage, uh, which is not good. Needless to say, right, we've got 21 more uses out of this thing, which is good. And yeah, my, as you can see, I think down there in the bottom left, my health is actually going down very, very slowly. So, it has its price, this spell, but at the minute I don't have an alternative, so, I don't know. What's a chest doing down here? Yeah, these are good for poisons, so, you know, I will take these. When I can actually gather the damn things, anyway. What would chests be doing in a cave like this? It's one of the things I've always had with Oblivion, is that its dungeons never make any sense at all. That's why I like Morrowind and Skyrim's dungeons much more. Oh, hello. <sighs> Might need some backup on this one, I think. Right, let's do this. Ooh, destruction increase, that's always good. Ah, I didn't like that, did you? Ouch. Do not taunt the ogre. Mental note. Finish him off, skeletons. Ah! 
out of magic again. <laughs> oh, God. I really should have brought more stuff with me. They're so difficult to dodge. Too many damn obstacles in the way. Keep backing onto a stalactite or stalagmite. Which is it, by the way? Stalagmite on the top. Oh, stop stun locking me. That's not appreciated. Thank you very. What? Go away. Not appreciated. Oh, dear. Well, at least the skeletons killed the other one. Or did I kill the other one? I've forgotten now already. Have we noticed I'm a bit scatterbrained? Is it that obvious, eh? Don't know why I picked that up, that's worthless. Oh. Where is it? Where is it? Value 3. Yeah, drain luck 15 points. Useless. I'm not surprised no merchant would give me a good price for that thing. Now then. I swear there's more than one wolf. Oh, there you are. Oh, no wolf meat then. But a gold coin, for some reason. You can only assume that he swallowed it. He's a very poor ogres. Oh, and an imp. Did we kill you? Did the ogres kill you? I assume the ogres killed you, otherwise I would have noticed. Oh, another one. Where, the, where is the other one? Oh, he's here. I already looted him. What am I doing? Um... Oh, uh, did we already loot this one? Certainly, no, we didn't actually. It's silly of me. Oh dear. Uh, yeah, one of these. Right. Where did he, where, did he, where the hell did he go? Ogre, come back here. Why are there plants growing underground? Oh, right, I see there's a shaft of light coming down. That makes sense. I like that. I'm going to drop a quick save. I'm a bit terrified now. There's an ogre lurking around here somewhere. I don't know where the hell he is. Was there a way? Yeah, there was a tunnel down there. But there you are. Big ugly brute. Uh, come on. If I can get rid of you without using any magic, I'd be very pleased. There we go. Now then. 20 gold again. Why? What is it doing down here? D does it belong to the ogres, perhaps? I didn't think they were that intelligent. Uh, okay. Right, whatever. Uh, <laughs> I assume those little bits with the straw on the ground are where the ogres sleep or something. That would seem to make sense. Also, yeah, like I said, not very non-linear dungeons, this. I, I think we've completely branched off in the other direction we went to begin with, which went somewhere else entirely, um, which is kind of cool. Good dungeon design. I mean, even if some of the stuff in here doesn't make much sense, you know, good dungeon design regardless. I applaud the, you, modder. What you what you lack in voice acting talent, you make up for in just about everything else. Yes, yes, yes. Come to me, mushrooms. Come to me. Hi, hello. Now that's something new. I love this Planescape Torment music, by the way. It really seems to suit the setting somehow, right now. And of course, that, that when I say that, it ends. What in God's name is that? Is it hostile? I don't even know. Let's not provoke it for now. If we can do without losing Magicka over it. So many branching passageways this is uh this is uh confusing.
Oh, hang on a minute. We've been here before. This is right. Okay, so this is the... I assume this connects around to there somehow. Maybe. Unless I'm imagining things. A couple of ogres down here. If you have anything worth guard... Where, where, you know, are you guarding anything worth taking? However. Uh-oh. Moot point! Oh god, this is why we cast shield spells. Okay, that clearly wasn't enough. Um, where's the one with the shield effect on it? Or if I drunk all those, no, I have one left. Oh god, I'm dead. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I live for now. Okay, one down, one down. Quick save. Don't know where I'm going at all. Presumably in the direction of the entrance. No, this is no good. Uh, think, 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 think. Siphon pain. It's my only option right now. If I even have enough magicka for it, I do, thankfully. It's not helped me either, though, because I keep getting stun locked. Ah! Oh, enough! AK ogres already. This is only like the third or fourth I've encountered. And get around him like this? Yeah, that seems to do the trick. Well, sort of. Oh god, Siphon Pain's about to run out. Nope. Is it just me, or does it seem to. Yeah, every time someone hits me while I have Siphon Pain. Restores my magicka. That is very interesting. That is very interesting. Is that an intended effect? I don't know. Maybe something to do with the absorb damage effect. Absorbing, being absorbed by my stunted magicka. I don't know. That's weird, but I like it anyway, regardless. Although I kind of feel bad about using it because it's sort of almost like a god mode button, frankly, because. Yeah, I just, I, sometimes it's like I, either I die basically or, you know, I use Siphon Pain. Still a little questionable is that uh, spell, frankly, but whatever. I'll try my best not to use it. Because it absorbs 100% damage. It's not like 75% damage or 50% damage, which would be more reasonable. It's 100%, so it absorbs everything. It literally makes you invincible. I'm, just, I'm not sure how I feel about that, honestly. If you're gonna have a spell that makes you invincible, you should have like need. You should need like a hundred skill to cast it. I'm still completely lost. Like uh, this, this entire area does not seem to be relevant at all to what we're just trying to accomplish here, but. There's nowhere else to go, so... Ugh. More of you. Are Oka's magic resistant or something, or do they just have ridiculous amounts of health? I do wonder. I feel, I feel like I need to come up with some more... slightly more creative way of dealing with them. Ogre's teeth, though. Although I should really probably watch my carrying capacity a bit, really, because yeah, it's, uh, it's probably getting a bit tight. Oh, no, nowhere near tight, actually. No, I take it back. Apparently, we can carry loads of stuff. Not entirely sure how that's possible, considering we I think we have relatively low strength, don't we? Unless it's been buffed loads, but yeah, it's been buffed loads by the stuff I'm wearing. Fair enough. Ah, right, okay, this brings me on to a point, actually, I've just reminded myself of it. We have, we do have one slight problem, I think. Oh, wait, maybe I'm just... Yeah, okay, right, maybe that's not a thing. Right, I had this weird bug earlier. I don't mind mentioning this. When I was uh, 
playing around before I started recording this part of the Let's Play, where I I, I think I had God Mode on because I was just trying to do some cutsceney type stuff. And is this really a dead end? That's disappointing. Anyway, I had God Mode on, and I think I drank some alcohol, and f for some reason, like the effects of it, like the the intelligence damage or whatever, became permanent. Like as in, I couldn't get rid of it any way at all. Not even visiting shrines and stuff. I was a, bit, a little bit concerned it would be kind of a permanent addition to to this let's play, but apparently it's gone now. So I guess I don't really have anything to worry about. Okay, one of those left now. Oof, dearie me. Makes me all the more determined to avoid these, whatever the hell they are. Don't even don't even know if I need to be here, honestly. Sneaking along in the dark with a bright white robe on. He's gonna spot me if I try to get past him here, isn't he? Yep. What are you? Dangerous is what you are, apparently. Wait a minute, do I have a. Oh, I have some sort of fire spell. That's not gonna be much use with these guys, but. Oh, fire taunts. That's interesting to note. I didn't. I completely forgot I had that spell. What the hell was it? Fire dance. Oh, well, wow, that is quite good. I completely forgot about. It. I apologise. People will have been probably shouting at me in the comments saying, "Oh my God, why aren't you using fire dance?" Sorry, <laughs> forgot about it completely. <laughs> I've just been using that shock spell for everything. Probably shouldn't have been really, because shock spells are more expensive than fire and frost ones. Um, what am I doing? Right, not down that way. Not there. Let's try this way. Bonus points if you recognise this music, by the way. Whoa, whoa! Oh, come on! You're just teasing me now, aren't you, game? Can I move these out of the way, or is it. Yeah, it's just. No, not even gonna try. Okay, think. I think that might have been a dead end anyway. Yeah, look, there's. Right, there's a passageway above us, or below us, I think, which we need to try and get to somehow. Okay, let's see. One around there, around that way. Okay, that seems our best bet. Let's go this way. If I can even write no what Apologies for my fumbling. Let's see if we can find the right way around here. This is very Daggerfall esque all this by the way, getting lost in a dungeon like this. I haven't felt like this in quite some time. <laughs> Constantly consulting the map. At least the map in this is better than the one in Daggerfall, at least. I mean, good grief. Daggerfall's auto map was terrible. You know, big labyrinthine dungeons, fine. As long as you make it so you can actually navigate the damn things properly. I am curious to see what's up here, by the way. Oh, oh god. Okay, a rock, rock fall. That's what's up there. Big lab or anything, dungeon's fine. Just give me a proper way of navigating the damn things. Right, let's equip fire dance. I assume fire dance actually uses up less magicka. That's 62. And flash bolt. No, that's not it. Um, lightning bolt uses up 61. Oh, okay, they're both the same. Fire dance is more of an area of effect thing, so. Hmm, probably not very useful in this particular situation. Can I avoid this ogre? Somehow, something is telling me I can't avoid this ogre, but I'm going to try. Hold on a minute. Now this goes the way I want to go. So, what's in here then? What's the go the, what, what is the ogre guarding? I don't see anything on the other side. I think he's just guarding some mushrooms. Yeah, there's not there's anything over there, so I'm gonna oh hello, hang on a minute, there's something down there. What is that?
Is that a, is that a corpse? I can't tell. I could cheat a bit here, I think. Uh, no idea. I'm just... I'm, is it important? This is just a dead rat? I don't know. I can't tell. I think it might be a dead rat. It looks like it has a tail. Get a little bit closer without alerting them. I'm sorry, I cannot tell what the hell that thing is. Somebody knows what it is, I'm sure. Oh, it's a dead spider. Okay, I had to peer very close to my screen then, but yeah, it's a dead spider. Um, no, not interested in dead spiders. Not interested in these either. Would have I better served, economically speaking, by just summoning skeletons instead of trying to take these guys on one on one? Mano a mano. Two should be enough for now, otherwise, I'll get too crowded. Three's crowd and all that. Well, apparently one and two skeletons are a crowd. Another one, please. That's just using up buttloads of magicka as well, isn't it? Plus he seems to be completely ignoring them, which is not very helpful. And he's pushing me back towards his friend. God. No! Oh. I hate ogres so much! I'd hate to be a warrior character right now, I really would. God, the rogue is so annoying. Right, okay, this is, yeah, okay, this is the big room. I'll ignore this. And Prusi, ah, hang on a minute. We won't ignore that. And now, we shall proceed directly in this direction. Which I believe is the way we're meant to be going, since I think it's the only way we can go. Now we'll attempt this again. So he's not here this time. Wonderful. Well, he's here. He's here because I'm getting sneak skill increases. But right, hello. Um, yeah. Get around him and retreat in the other direction. Pressure night eye. Oh, why not? Yeah, this way, come on you. I'm not letting you chase me back into the other room, so I have to fight two of you. There we go. Well, I'm 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 pleased with the challenge at least. That's pretty good, honestly. Oh, well, that's very disappointing. Oh God, where am I supposed to go? This dungeon. Oh, is there maybe just no way forward out of it? Am I just supposed to, you know? clear it out of all the ogres or something. Is that what I'm meant to do? I mean... Clear a path for Tuesday excavation efforts. It's very vague, isn't it? It doesn't really tell me what I'm actually meant to be specifically doing. Hmm. Does it provide any sort of quest marker? Anywhere? No. Alright then. I have a feeling I need to get across there. Oh! Where are you going? You know what? Fine. I am perfectly willing to exploit this. Damn it. Fine. Finish you off myself! Ouch! No, 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 no. No stun locking. Bad ogre. Bad. Oh. You 
insufferable thing. There is nothing over here. Oh. oh, thank God for that. There is a way forward. Yeah, I knew that ogre had to be there for a reason. I hear machine noises. And I'm wondering whether that's part of some music track I've got, or whether I, that, I'm actually hearing that. Last Restore Magic the Potion. Oh dear. Clearly very ill-equipped for this. Oh, hang on a minute. This is new. Wait, what, what? You... No. No, come on. Oh. Uh, so ironic that the laughing sound effect played just now. Oof. It's not new at all. It's the opposite of new. Got in one big bloody circle. Get lost. This ruin is not a fun place to be. I've explored everything except for down there, but I can't get down there. Wait, no, I, had, I have been down there. It's a dead end. <sighs> hmm. I've missed something really obvious that people are screaming at me in the comments about. <laughs> what am I missing? What am I missing? Am I, am I overthinking this maybe a tad? Oh, guess very appropriate Daggerfall music. Yeah, Lost in a Dungeon and Daggerfall music played. Yeah, I feel right. Right, old good old burst of nostalgia there. Not of the not of the nice kind, however. Hello. There are battle noises. Something's killing an ogre. There you go, I'm... Whoa, okay, yeah, no, there's, there's a big imps. Yeah, you guys have fun with the ogre. Right, okay, now you can have fun with me. Oh, you're much easier to deal with than ogres. Nice change of pace, that. Savage ogre. I don't know why I'm taking those Im Gold ones, I don't think that I don't even know if they're that useful. So I haven't bothered to check. Um are you on time <laughs> you've crushed one of the imps underneath you. Alright, fire damage and damage health, okay, that's kinda useful I suppose. Especially if I'm gonna start using poisons. I think I am, really. Clearly I need an extra edge in combat at the minute. Because I'm Getting a bit knocked around, really, especially by these ogres. They don't have much fun with those giants either, actually, now I think about it. Okay. Alright, this is new. We're in new territory, finally. Progress. Sweet progress. So, yeah, like I said, good dungeon design, this, in spite of the fact I'm getting frustratedly lost. Uh, I think good dungeon design, because I've never... I, honestly, I don't think I've gotten lost like this in an Oblivion dungeon before, so... You know... They approve, really. Oh, I, just, I need to avoid these guys. I just can't... I don't have any magicka left. Like, I have one one Welkin Stone left, and that, that is it, basically. I have no way of restoring my magicka after that. Damn it, there's an entrance down there, which I probably need to go through. It's right next to them. Oh, no. If I had a magical staff, I'd be okay, but I don't. So. God. Here we go. Right. One of them hasn't noticed me. This is interesting. Die, you ugly grape. Oof. 
I might have to start resorting to Siphon Pain again, just because it means I'll be able to get more Magicka. Although I don't even know if I have enough to cast that now, frankly. Uh, I had that Regenerate spell. This wouldn't be a problem, would it? But I don't. So it is a problem. Siphon Pain. Things are about to get very awkward. However, he's over there now, so maybe I can just sneak past him. God, Idris is not a thief character. This is terrible. Right, okay, this is officially new territory. This is beginning to look like spire caves. I think. He told me to clear a path, though, so... <laughs> I sort of... Um, I kind of probably should kill that ogre, now I think about it. Um... But I can't. There's nothing I can do. I can't take on the ogre in single combat. It just won't work. Hello. What is this? A metallic shot. You know what? I can't do this. I need to kill the ogre. That's the whole point of me being here. Oh god, here goes. Um, do I have enough for, like, a skeleton, maybe? I have some restore health potions. Okay, so I could be... You know what? Let's just take a break, breather here. Get this stuff out. All right. Okay. Okay. Right. Let's get making some potions. I would like actually some shield potions, if at all possible. I don't think I'm going to have that luxury. I'm afraid. What would that do? Shock damage. Damage intelligence and resist paralysis. What would that count as though? Would that count as a poison or would it count as a... No, I'm not going to take that risk. I think if there's even so much as one... Ah. Oh, fire damage poisons. Excellent. Add the troll fat. No. I think if there's even one beneficial effect to it, it will count as a potion rather than a poison. Which is very irritating as you can imagine. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, that's two very nice potions right there. Poisons right there. But right, remove that. Poison gland. I'd like to make a paralysis poison, actually. That'd be pretty sweet. And there we go. Right, we got lots of poisons now. Fire damage. Oh, that's nice. That is very nice. I'm going to poison wrath with that. Poison the wrath. <laughs> okay. Um, right, let's go. Let's do this. I have enough magic to summon one more skeleton, I think. Should aid me in the coming fight. This better be the last enemy in this dungeon. Right. Maybe two, even. Okay. Yeah, enjoy. Ah, ouch. Excellent. Okay. Put a bit of that brain power to use. Use the, the little grey cells. And you'll, you'll be fine, Idris. Duly fine. Come on, at least one. There we go. I can make another poison with that. Hmm, okay. Right, well. Who needs magic, eh, when you've got brains, eh? An IQ like Idris's. Oh, God. Intelligence 153, I mean, come on. He's probably utterly mad, isn't he? Bonkers, Idris. It's kind of what I tried to get across a little bit in that prologue, actually, because, I mean, you don't have an intelligence score of 153 and not be slightly nutty. All right, we've got a warlock chest with a pair of magical trousers. Um... An amulet of absorption. I'm pretty much pretty sure I already have one of those, but still. Feathering. Open average lock. That's always useful, actually. Okay. All right. Well, that was nice. Now, what I assume we actually came here for. Uh, exit. The. Uh, is there anything up here? Oh, there is. Scales. Void salts, glow dust. It's very difficult to see if you couldn't tell in the video. It's very dark up here, but fire salts, ectoplasm, frost salts. Wood. I did pick the left, didn't I? Yeah. Okay, this looks like we're at what we're, we're after this. 
metallic shard, which I've just no unceremoniously knocked over. <laughs> I'm hardly an Indiana Jones, am I, with the, you know, with the little bag of dirt and the idol. Um, I've cleared the cave and discovered this curious shard. Certainly will interest Teve. Indeed, I think so. I can go 19 hours before getting sleepy, apparently. It's very generous, isn't it, this sleep mod? Uh, I've been playing Skyrim with the realistic needs mod installed, and it's a lot less forgiving when it comes to getting a good night's nice sleep. Now, what does this do? As I thought. Excellent. Is this a shortcut out? Please be a shortcut out. Also. Okay, that's not really what I was looking for. Oh, hang on a minute. I think this might be a shortcut out. Ah! Ah, excellent. We're back at the start. Good. Phew. Note to self. Bring better equipment next time. Oof. All right there, Elba. You would not believe what went on down there. I'm surprised it's still daytime, frankly. We were down there a long time. In any case. Oh, hello, guildmate. You're welcome to explore this site as much as you wish. All right, good. Well, Alrighty that's not really then. what I was interested in. Okay, well, I guess we better head back to the guild. And, uh, hand over our interesting new discovery. No idea what it does. I'm sure T will have some sort of clue. He's the gemologist, after all, is he not? So, yeah. Well, that was pretty tough. So, if it doesn't get any more difficult than that. Oh, who am I kidding? Of course, it's going to get more difficult than that. 